Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable. I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. And I am trying out something new today, which is doing a video blog on the updates for the last week to get myself caught up. There's so many things that are happening um, right now with One Community that blogging about it is kind of hard to fit in. It's kind of hard to fit in. Uh, it's definitely a juggling act between doing the things that need to be done, which is what we love to do, and talking about it, which is an action item on the list as well. And so I'm testing this out to see if it's a little more time efficient and also to see if people enjoy it. So if you like this method of us communicating, please like this video, please share this video, give it a thumbs up, let us know that's an indicator for me that this is a great way for us to, to communicate what it is that's going on with one community and share that with the public. Uh, so if the response is good, I will, I will definitely make an effort to do more of these and especially if it saves me time. So um, one community is busy. We got a lot going on. You know, our group is, is uh, for those that don't know, maybe might not know what one community is all about. Uh, the purpose of our nonprofit organization is to create open source and free shared blueprints for sustainable villages, communities and cities to be built all over the world as teacher demonstration models, self-sufficient teacher demonstration models, spreading sustainability and sharing sustainable ideas with surrounding communities, with the world, and collaborating together to address the most pressing problems of our generation. And so um, specifically what one community is doing is we are designing seven different sustainable village model, seven different sustainable building methods for construction, sustainable food infrastructure, sustainable housing infrastructure, um, as well as a sustainable recreation and uh, transformational education model as well, all of which is open source, free shared. The whole model that we're putting together is meant to be a place that people will be able to visit from anywhere in the world and come and see in one place all of these different sustainable building models and all of these modular components of sustainability that you will then be able to take the open source and free shared blueprints and take the resources that we are creating right now but we will develop to a whole new level uh, as we continue to go on we just keep progressing and making them better and better and better people will be able to take those pieces and duplicate everything that it is that we're creating and so uh, our, our tagline or who we are as we call ourselves a highest good of all organization creating for the highest good of all and and the the foundation of that for us and that we believe for the world is open source and free sharing and creating free usable resources tools tutorials and providing what people need to duplicate everything that we do and so everything that we create is is free shared open source it's uh, it's put out there without copyrights patents or any limitations on use so if there's anything that we have that we've created that we've produced that you can use use it use it take these ideas spread them evolve them make them your own do something even better than what we're doing with them and if you'd like to give one community credit and say hey we got this stuff from one community that's great but it's really not necessary it's more important to us to see a sustainable planet than to, than to uh, get a pat on the back. It's more important for us to collaborate and cooperate and know that we're helping and doing the right thing. And so, yeah, so that's what we're doing. And there's been huge developments. You know, every single week we are moving forward at what I would say is light speed. I mean, it's so fast, it's hard for me to, to, to uh, if it were going any faster, I wouldn't be able to hold on. You know, every week we're, we're moving forward. The main areas that we're working on in the last week that we've seen huge progress in, specifically for one community, are the Sago Center City Hub. Um, we've decided that it would, it's more eco-friendly and uh, will save on a lot of plumbing hardware and uh, better represents our sustainability model. If we move the bathrooms in the VIP uh, visitor dome, to the center of the dome and make them more communal instead of having individual bathrooms for each one of those bedrooms, those visitor rooms, which will allow us to make those visitor rooms bigger, allows us to make every single visitor room an ADA compliant room, allowed us to add in additional ADA compliant bathrooms, 
allowed us to add in a couple public bathrooms, and it allowed us to put bathrooms on the first, second, which we were going to do on the first and second floor anyway, and on the third floor, but to tie the plumbing together on all those. And really, it's a, it's a pretty amazing evolution, as well as it allows us to take the, that dome and shave off the top of it and create a completely open, flat sunrise uh, space. The sun will rise directly over that dome because it is due east onto that flat space, which will be a big, huge open space for holding meetings or for teaching classes or just a beautiful place to stand and look at the property. And so that's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big move for the Sago Center City Hub. Now, uh, also what we've done is we've moved the um, we've moved the library over along with the bathrooms that are in the recreational dome off to the side so there's a view of the regeneration zone for the natural swimming pool. And for anybody who doesn't know what the Sego Center City Hub is, uh, what it is is it's meant to be, once again, like everything else, an open source and duplicable uh, lodge, essentially, a city hub, the central point of a sustainable village where a group of people could get together and, and pool their funds and for the cost of a couple houses in California, build an entire village. And the center of this village would be the Sego Center City Hub, which is an amazing building that, that provides a group dining space, provides a group recreation space. It's got a natural swimming pool, a jacuzzi. It's got several uh, rental rooms for VIPs to come and stay and experience what the community, one community is. And then it's also got a meditation room and a multimedia room. And all of this stuff is possible, this, this beautiful, what I would call, you know, potentially opulence is available because you take the resources that would normally be invested in individual homes and instead you put it into this amazing communal space and then the homes can be built for under five thousand dollars a piece if you're building something like earth bag structures which is what which is one of our seven sustainable village models that the first and most affordable that we are teaching and so the idea is to demonstrate this whole new way of living that gets people out of their homes you know, why would you sit in your home and watch television when you have all this amazing recreational stuff going on and this constant culture of cooperation, collaboration, and personal growth, which is the whole social architecture and recreational model that's built into one community, is to get people out of their homes and provide these other beautiful spaces for people to really work together and, and create amazing, beautiful things, and in our case, to, to work on addressing the problems of our day. You know, to work on to work on creating solutions and and collaborating globally to help build more and more sustainable teacher demonstration villages and spread this idea of sustainability by by creating a way of life that, in our opinion, is truly superior to most of what people are experiencing right now. More time with families, more time with friends, more time to do the things that you love better quality of food, sustainable energy, living out in nature, all of these amazing things. And so the Sego Center City Hub is a launch point for that that comes along with a business model. And so our whole business model is designed around inviting people to visit what it is that we're doing. And then when they see it and, they, and, they, and the aspects that they like, giving away for free how to duplicate it be it food infrastructure or energy infrastructure, or maybe you'd like to build an earth bag home in your backyard as, a, as, a, as, a, um, as an additional guest house or a straw bale guest house, or maybe you want to build a whole village model. Our goal is to provide everything that people need to do that. Blueprints, tutorials, hands-on experience if you want to come and visit with us and actually work with us, and then the connections to all the people that can help to support that and make it even easier for you if you run into problems to answer questions and things like that. And so the Sago Center City Hub is one central piece of that. Uh, the other things that we've been working on in the last week and have made big progress on is our aquaponics, aquapini designs, which are wallapinis. A wallapini is like a trench within the earth, and then you build within that because the earth helps maintain a stable 55 degrees uh, minimum temperature there, and then you can regulate that with, with thermal heat storage and a whole bunch of other things. And so Doug Stenhouse, uh, architect and watercolor artist, has put in a ton of work on that and produced our architectural plans uh, that are the results of hundreds of hours of work in design with Avery Ellis, who is our aquaponics, uh, primary aquaponics consultant, and has helped us get those to the point where they are. 
And so we've got those. If you want to see those, if you're watching this on YouTube and not reading about it on the blog, click the link uh, in the description and that will take you to the blog that has the pictures that go along with what I'm talking about. And so I'll post those as well in our blog post so you can see what those are. And uh, big evolutions on that is we've added a terrace on the south wall, so sun coming in from the south side will be able to uh, better reach the deep water culture that's closest to the south wall and also more sunlight on the north wall, which is where we'll be growing fruit trees as well. Um, and a really cool design on how that is. And we're working this out because we're going to build another aesthetic version of this that would be something that people would want to build in their backyard because it would be a lot more beautiful and functional and produce a broader diversity of foods than a traditional greenhouse. And so that's moved forward. Uh, huge steps towards that. We've also got big steps on the tropical dome, which is a big part of Pod 1, the Earth Bag Village, that's going to be producing tropical fruits and uh, as well as some vegetables and other stuff and uh, we've moved forward a lot on that as far as the designs have been completely redone on that. It's one of those areas of pod one that we hadn't focused on a lot until the last few weeks and we put in uh, probably 100 hours on it in the last just in the last couple weeks and those designs have progressed forward. It's also going to be a, an area that uh, processes our gray water for pod one and provides a recreational space and so we've made a lot of progress on those as well changing the roof design on that, creating a terrace system based on what Doug did with the Wallapinis. We're in incorporating that into the Tropical Dome as well. And so hopefully we should have some drawings that we can share on that within the next, probably the next week, week and a half. So, and then the other big thing that we've done in this last week, which for me has, I put in, man, God, I don't know, probably 40 hours just on this alone in the last in the last couple of weeks, well over 40 or 50 hours just on the education program. And what our education program is, is it's an open source and free shared education model that we want to make available anywhere in the world to anybody who has an internet connection to so that people can design their own lesson plans. And not just lesson plans to teach things like science and math and reading, but also to incorporate lesson plans for things like love and integrity and honesty and public speaking and the things that a lot of us uh, might want to learn in college. Well, why can't we create lesson plans to teach younger kids that? More importantly, why not create lesson plans so that we can help each other improve as adults in these areas as well? And so what we're calling it is, the, uh, is Sustainable Education for Life. And um, we've been working on it for well over a year and a half now. And we're now finally at the point where we can start open source and free sharing all those aspects. And we've also, uh, hopefully today, I hope to be able to give access to all of our back office documents, which is where we take all of our notes and where we're doing our collaboration with our consultants, our partners, and as a team, what we're working on. And we're, we've set that up so that people will be able to access those and make comments and contribute and make suggestions to that as well. And we want to do this with all aspects of one community so that we can open source and free share not just the finished product but the notes as well so that you or somebody you know can take that information and either contribute right now by adding in your ideas and suggestions to what we've got already or so you can take it and take it in a different direction. Do evolve it in some way that we've never even thought of. You now ultimately the idea is to get this information in the hands of as many people as we possibly can, as quickly as we possibly can, so that we can spread sustainability as efficiently and effectively as, as possible. As the highest good for all organization, we believe that open source and free sharing and making sustainability easy and making it rewarding enough individually and fulfilling, demonstrating a fulfilling enough living model, honestly, we believe that it ultimately has the ability to, to to enter us all into the next, into a new golden age of cooperation, collaboration, innovation, and people really working together for the highest good of all. All of us, or at least enough of us, to really, really address the issues for all of humanity. And so um, that's our update. That's what we're doing. I know I missed a whole bunch of stuff. I guess I'll include it in the, uh, in the notes on the blog. If you like this, once again, if you like this form of us sharing what's going on, please like our video, share it, um, comment. We love your comments. We love your, your support. And um, thanks for listening. Have a beautiful day. Thank you.